Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Fred here. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Heel. Look at that trotting. He's a happy dog today. Fred is feeling mighty fine. Oh, here's Patty. Hi, Patty Mae. Hi, Patty Mae. That's Drew's new puppy. Hi, Patty Mae. She is a puppy. She is. She wild. Leave me alone. It's early in the morning, Patty. <sighs> Hometown. Home field. One of my most favorite hunts I can do here at home. We're doing today, and we're taking uh, four of the clients with us. Four of the clients here are mine uh, that booked for me, and then six of them are actually Gerald's that booked for him that come with him every year. So it's perfect. They took off an uh, hour and a half drive to go hunt some ducks on water. I'm taking all my guys. We're staying in town and hunting lessers. What's going on here? We got a dog fight. We got a dog fight. But before we get going today, this is the ducks. Uh, I'd like to call it a thermal, but it's extra thermal. We call them the heavy duty hoodies. They are much heavier, much thicker than our normal thermal hoodies. They just came out, and I'm telling you, heaviest hoodie I've ever had. They're awesome, comfortable. If you guys want to check them out, I'll link them down in the description. Ducks Waterfowl, head on over there. Use code BOB, Bob, at checkout to save yourself some money. But let's go see how things are rolling. Better turn on some lights in here. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> You're like, oh, he's got that camera again. Yep. And it's too early. Yeah. Oh, it ain't too early. No, it ain't too early. We've been up for a while. We've well, we been up for an alarm dog. Oh, you've been up we've been since up for four? an hour and 15 minutes, yeah. yeah. We yep. had an alarm dog at 4 o'clock that went off. Oh, no. It didn't stop. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, she was barking for a while. Oh, no. You guys ready to go, though? Oh, yep. yeah. Little four man goose hunt. Yeah, absolutely, man. We're Hometown gonna... city Crush. limit field action. Crush. Absolutely. It's going to be warm again today, so it's going to be sunny. Not much wind. It's going to be a south southwest wind, so we'll be side shooting them a little bit. But hey, we, we, we don't mind that. I'm good. Yeah, should be good. We're taking uh, old Frederick, so he'll have fun. It's a lot Ooh, better wind than we had yesterday, yeah. was, which was zero. Do what? I said it's a lot better wind than we had yesterday, which was zero. Yeah, it should be a little better wind yet today. I mean, a little bit, but hey. Yep. Did you guys uh, get you the breakfast sandwich? Yeah, yeah, that was good. Wonderful. Good. Good stuff. I'm grabbing mine. I'll tell you what, Bert, Bert kills it. Dude, Bert, he does, game man. changer, isn't he? Yeah, it is. It's, it's huge. It's a difference from last year, Bert is the difference. It's a big difference, and it's a good one. Every sure. single returning client has been like Bobby. Bert, best thing ever. Yeah, absolutely. I agree 100%, man. It was it's it's good. Yeah. He Bert does. Is so and I, 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 I appreciate. Yes, and he's an awesome guy. He yep. loves yep. to yep. talk. Absolutely. I appreciate yesterday all the help with the fish fry, you know. Oh, I, the fish I, fry. I, I, I wish I would have recorded that fish fry. I spent really three and a half I, four hours so cooking oh. without him. The gumbo yep. was amazing. Gumbo was good. Oh. What, uh, what do we got going on in here, boys? We have what uh, what what guns are you boys shooting anyways? Franky and affinities. You yeah, both original. have Franky affinities. I bought both of them at a gun show at Reed's. And uh, probably six, seven years ago. Yeah. Yep. Affinity one. Yes. And then we got uh -huh. the extended chokes on them. But these see? guns don't ever jam. You see? They're. I'm awesome. telling you, that's the same gun that I keep my tube on for yeah. snow goose hunting and pigeon hunting. Yep. I'm telling you, those are old Affinity threes. This is yeah. This is the Affinity three. Dude, yeah. well, that's a good looking gun. That's the new one we just bought my wife. What a beauty. Absolute beauty. Yeah, I had a, a old 870 and a, a 20 gauge that my daughter wasn't using and we traded them in and bought that one instead. Yeah, dude, so, I, I swear by those guns, especially yeah. for the price point. One oh, of the God. best guns yeah. I've ever had. Yeah, I used to use an 870 and the stupid thing would jam on me all the time. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah, I, I mean it was had old. An issue with an 870. It as it that got to older, me was the, the, the cheapest, most reliable yep. gun yeah, on that's the market. True. Was an 870. What are you shooting now? I shoot an 1187 now. 1187. But I'll tell you what, it's not the most reliable. <laughs> it will not. I mean, it has its issues every now and then. Once in a great while, it don't it, it'll jam or not right. jam, but won't spit one. Right. Or it'll spit, not feed the second shell. Gotcha. But that, Easy on the sugar, not too much now, boy. Oh, come on, Dad. Easy, easy. Not, not, you're gonna ruin your teeth. That's all. 
That's why I brush them every day. <laughs> That's why I brush them twice every day, Dad. Woo! You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Check it out. That's what we're rolling with today. Um, we got both seed sacks of full bodies. I don't honestly think. Oh, we got that. The aliens back there. Um, I don't think we're gonna need all 25 dozen. I don't either. Full bodies. So uh, we're gonna rock two A frames, probably one and a half bags of full bodies, which will equal about 15 dozen. I think is about all we'll need. 20 dozen maybe. And then uh, this grass that we got, all zip tied together for the top of the A frames. And then we got chairs and the old mini flags, baby. Uh huh. Let's see if they help today. Doesn't hurt to try, right? Nope. They liked motion yesterday. <laughs> These old A frames are just full of yeah. dirt. Ready to go. How you feeling today? I'm feeling good. First time using the quad and it's working pretty good. I know. This uh, it's kind of a, just a good old feeling of a hunt. Oh, there you Ooh, go, Brad. Here you go. Good feeling of a just good old hunt. This trailer here, um, I've had this trailer for probably 10 years and I've used it for hunting. First time using it during guide season and it's just the little things that bring back awesome memories doing like using this trailer. I can remember having this trailer completely covered, just caked in mud so many times and she's still kicking. Yeah. You know? She's still a good old trailer at home. Like I said, these are my favorite hunts. I love hunting at home. Plus, we're only five minutes from the lodge. Yeah. We're literally hunting five minutes from the lodge. So, that made it nice. You only have to leave at 5.30 instead of four. Hide of the day is a lone tree. Yep, that's it. We're here. A lone tree all by itself. Edge of the field. We got really tall power lines behind us, but they're far enough behind us. I don't think it'll matter. Let's get to work. Drag the tail this way a little bit. We could do a little bit of double action. Yeah, I was thinking it might just be a big blob. Yeah, I like to put some landers out here. Yeah, you can do a few out there and then like out towards the four wheeler. Yeah, sounds good to me. Well, we're sitting up. This ground, it's like, it goes from really fluffy on top to just hard. It's been getting pretty chilly at night. Not tonight, it got down to what? Like 42, yeah. 44. We'll put some landers, some little family landers out yonder. But uh, we're gonna have a side wind. Wind's gonna be coming this way out of the north northeast, and um, it'll be a side shot. So I really like side shoots um, because the birds they're not looking at you. Uh, they're looking at the decoys. Their concentrations here when you're over here. I really recommend side shoots. I think that uh, when you can get the birds looking away from you, it always helps. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Shoot him, shoot him over the top. We had to take what we could get. <laughs> Sit. Come off another pass. Good boy. That's a good boy, Frederick. Sit. Sit. What? <laughs> Decoys. We got one walking in the decoys. Yeah. Shot. Kill that bird. Oh, shoot it again. Yeah, Joe. Oh. 
What's the excuse for that one? Uh, there isn't one. I'm just gonna. <laughs> that one's gonna haunt me tonight. <laughs> and they're over the top. Good, here. Fetch it up. Hold. Good. Here, here, here. Here, here. Sit. 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 So sun's to our backs here, which is perfect, but earlier the sun was out, we actually got a thin, thin cloud line that's giving us some good shade out here, and uh, good shade, that makes sense. Long story short, this tree puts a huge shadow on the field when the sun is just beaming from behind, and with the clouds, really, it just makes the whole field the same. Yeah. I think that first flock didn't like us because our decoys were in in the only shadow in, shadow in the whole mm -hmm. east side of the field yeah right i agree i think well uh, as long as that cloud cover stays there we'll do a lot better but they're going to want to fly a little bit it's a nice day um hopefully they start getting uh, start treating us a little better that last flock was really good we landed the two we're just doing a gentleman's hunt you know it's only four shooters today so um just take take the easy shots you know I think it's working so far. Three birds down. Yep. <laughs> that single. Nice oh. shot. Chris. I didn't know where he was. Good. Fetch it up. Hold it. He just dodged the camera. Oh. He's <laughs> Hold it. Drop. Good boy. A little, little lesser. Look at the look at the color. color. I noticed Juvenile. that while it was He's just flying. Juvie, he's just juvie, like blonde colored, isn't he? He's light. Yeah, look at these right there. I look think, at, I think look at these feathers. <laughs> look at that. Ratty, rat. Oh look at these. Lord. Just a young. That's why he landed in the spread like this. Shoot him out front, guys. Doing good today. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, look at him going on a long one now. He's been uh, been doing really well in the field today. The only problem is he was kind of doing it when we dropped, you know, over four or five ducks in the water. He was shopping a lot. He'd go pick it up, see a different one, go to it. So me yelling at him to hold it isn't me being mean. It's just telling him don't drop it. Here, hold it. Good, set, hold. He needs to be praised on doing the right thing. So hold. Good boy, drop. Good, good. 
He's doing great. So, midday update. Uh, I gotta go count, but we have two, what do we got? We have three, six, we have eight birds down. Um, the last shot they did really good on, cleaned up four or five. So that put us on the board really well with only four shooters. Uh, but me and old P Diddy wanted to tell you guys, give you a heads up, we're giving away a hunt, a uh, conservation snow goose hunt uh, over on my podcast our podcast i should say it's just not my podcast hell heck you did the you did federal the last one. one all by yeah the federal one guys we did a podcast with federal about the ammunition shortage so you guys good. seen some of it on here but it's long and they gave you're at you asked all the right questions yeah like every one of them that all of us have wanted to ask and get answers about the whys everything um but that's there then like i said we're giving away a uh, conservation snow goose hunt for February to, for two lucky people to come here. One lucky winner can bring somebody with you, and we're going to draw for that beginning of December. Yep, December 5th is the day, so be subscribed by December 5th. I'd say the first week, week yeah. and a half of December, because we might get busy. We'll yeah. just, I wouldn't put a strict date on it, but the first part of December we're drawing for that. And then we'll draw for the turkey hunt. Uh, spring turkey hunt probably what january or something yep so podcast is awesome we get to be raw just honest have a few beverages and relax and discuss things so lots of stuff over there that i can't talk about here what do you think brad she slowed it down son what do we got seven guys and absolutely loaded down with gear on pulling the four-wheeler and trailer Dragging it to low. It's working. It's working. We're all loaded up. Man, the quad did awesome. Yeah, it did. I miss using a quad. The farmer loves a quad in a wheat field. I was going to give you a little two cents here. Uh, if you're ever... You guys like all my all my tips. And honestly, honestly, guys, if it's a wheat field or a planted field at all, drive the edges. If you can drive the edge and then go straight out to where you want to go, don't just bomb out in the middle of a wheat field. Always, 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 always drive the edges like an albino <laughs> look at this guy he's got a nub oh i didn't even notice that thank you thank you lost it naturally you think it was a band that hooked i think he lost it naturally in the water a turtle or something probably a turtle he might have gotten shot and lost it here he got shot and it fell off eventually Look at this guy. So this one earlier, it's got nasty pin feather. I don't like know what looks going on with that? But we got Kurt dog here. Kurt does all of our taxidermy, and he's shot a lot of special geese. My first impression was young, really, really young. But Kurt says no. No, he's not young. Why do you think it's? I don't. I don't know what all this is going on here. Why do you think that it's older? Yeah. Well, these well, nubs. Uh, his these wings. nubs on his wings are yeah. like. They said old, older the birds get, they get a, a, a calcium deposit out here. That's me. have a big old knot on the wing. Definitely not going to mount him because he's, you know, he's not he's pretty. Not, he's not pretty. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got going? All right, so I'm going to get some fried rice going. Kind of first thing to do, get a little oil on here. And then I got this big deal of garlic butter. I'm going to kind of... Get, get some big old dollops on there. Get that oil and butter all over there. Start to brown a little bit. And then we come and dump our fried rice or our cold leftover rice. And then we're gonna start to mix that and Form a nice even flat layer across here, and then we'll eventually add some veggies, some sauces, get everything nice and happy in here. 
So along with the fried rice, what vegetables and what do you do to the meat? All right, so we got for veggies, we're gonna have some some squash and zucchini, and then I got some some green beans. I'm gonna gonna get nice and crispy on here, along with uh, just some straight onions. So I, you can't beat onions done on the flat top. And then for the proteins, we got I got kind of just it's not anything I'd say traditional or anything, but it's more just like a kind of a sesame chicken, a sweet chicken. I'm gonna cook on the flat top along with some bulgogi marinated sliced ribeye. And so, should be eating good tonight. What kind of sauce you got? All right, so we got some, some garlic, some soy sauce, a little bit of hoisin, green onions, I think we got a little teriyaki marinade in there. And uh, yeah, so we just drizzle that over the top. Let it kind of sit there for a little bit and then we'll toss this all over again and get it all mixed up. Oh, Fred. Oh, Fred, you did good. You did good. He's doing better this year, man. He ain't breaking. He's been doing a lot better. Has he? Better. He's happier, too. Yeah, he's way happier this year. I got him happy. I had to straighten up my ways with him and stop being so, you know, on his butt all the time, pretty much. You gotta give him some leniency, let him be a dog. He's two and a half. Fully adult dog now, and he acts like it. He does really well. Good job. Well, it's the next day, as you can probably guess, because look at the sky, it's sunny, and yesterday was cloudy and a little bit of east wind. Uh, I like to always come back and recap the hunt um, with only four shooters, it was a minimal gentleman's hunt anyways. I don't think it went too bad. Um, shot eight total. Um, probably should have shot around 10, 11 ish, but that's it. Um, not bad. Hometown hunt, my hometown fields. Uh, I love hunting five minutes away from the lodge. It is amazing. It makes for a very quick drive in the morning. You get to sleep in. It's nice hunting close to the lodge. Yeah, that extra 30 minutes helps. Oh, it's unreal. But thank you all for being here. Uh, the only thing I can say about the hunt is that the birds wanted to fly that day and they wanted to bust over the field and, and fly west to another field. Uh, we didn't get to work many groups because they just flew right on by. I really don't think they seen us, uh, half of them. So, did what we can do. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out all of the new Ducks Waterfowl gear, uh, the old school camo hoodies are in. We got the new HD thermals, they're heavy duty. I mean, the heaviest duty, most warmest hoodie I've ever had. Go check it out. Use code Bob at checkout. Uh, literally all the new products are on there. All the ones that you've been asking about when they're gonna be restocked, they're there. Plus, like we said earlier in the video, we're doing a giveaway. Yep. Like, really, really soon. Yep. And you couple days from this Literally video. four days probably, yep. or five days. Uh, for a sand hill, hold on, let me rephrase, for a conservation snow goose hunt here at Sand Hill Flyways with us. <laughs> You're like, but uh, podcast is always linked down below. Um, we get to just talk about whatever is on our minds over there, and it's, it's nice. Get to vent a little bit. But thank you all for being here. Until next time.